Hello and welcome back to my series of Feel Good Films for Stressful Times. And today my third choice is the classic 1967 comedy The Producers, written and directed by Mel Brooks and starring Gene Wilder, Zero Mostel, Dick Sean and Kenneth Mars, among others. An unscrupulous theatrical producer, Max Bialystok, convinces a timid and anxious accountant, Leo Bloom, to help him in a scam to stage the worst play ever made and thereby make a fortune. But the scam will only work if audiences hate the play. But is Springtime for Hitler the guaranteed to close in one night flop that they need? And if not, what extreme measures will be called for? The Producers has long been one of my all-time favourite movies, um, but I hadn't seen it for quite a few years, so I decided to give it a rewatch and see what I thought. This has to be one of the greatest ensemble casts of all time, and what makes the movie so funny, so wonderful, so unforgettable, is that every single character is such an eccentric and such an oddball. All the characters are so flawed and unpredictable. Seeing it again after such a long gap, it really made me wonder if Wes Anderson drew on the producers as inspiration for the very eccentric characters he uh, peoples his own films with. But for me, what makes The Producers such a feel-good classic is that at its heart, it's a story about friendship or even love between uh, Max and Leo. And it's a transformative friendship that allows the mousy and frightened Leo to emerge from his shell and to live. In particular, the fountain scene has such a beautiful sense of exaltation and joy that I've rarely ever seen captured on the screen in such a pure and delightful form. The film might be a little long, but once you get on its roller coaster, you really don't want to get off. It is an absolutely crazy comedy, but it has so much heart and so much warmth to it and really delves into the, uh, the emotions and hearts of these characters. Mel Brooks really assembled a phenomenal cast for this movie and each of these amazing character actors really gets their moment to shine. But for me, special mention must be made of Dick Sean as LSD and also my favourite, Andreas Vutsinas as Carmen Gia, who was into contouring decades before it was a thing. One of the great highlights of the film for me is Dick Sean's um, song Love Power and it really stands out as a moment of pure insane joy and delight in the movie. For me, the producers has real magic in it, that really rare thing that happens when all the right ingredients come together in exactly the right way. And a big part of that magic also, I think, is Gene Wilder. As a screen performer, Gene Wilder just brings this beautiful, magical, lovable quality to pretty much every role he plays and he always makes me feel so full of delight when I see him on screen. Um, certainly there's going to be more Gene Wilder films in this series. Gene Wilder's lovable and neurotic qualities combined with Zero Mostel's bombastic and explosive style really make them the perfect comedy duo in this film and they are the heart of this wonderful movie. The Producers is an unforgettable comedy filled with laugh out loud moments and jaw droppingly eccentric characters. It's one of those rare films that I can watch again and again and always enjoy and always get a laugh out of. Uh, but more than that it has heart and it has the beautiful story of Max and Leo's friendship at its centre. I hope you enjoy it and once again do let me know if you have any suggestions of feel good films that always <clears throat> lift your spirits. Uh, thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.